Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Toyota 4Runner SR5 upgrade. Now the most notable features on the SR5 upgrade is its power moonroof, its heated front seats, as well as its body side moldings. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle, just to get you better familiar with this 2014 Toyota 4Runner SR5 upgrade. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SR5 upgrade is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a look just over on the side here, you have your plug-in block heater. And then you also have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your running boards and then you also have your body side moldings. So the nice thing with the body side moldings is somebody accidentally hits their door against yours in a tight parking lot instead of hitting your door it hits the body side molding instead. You also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors, heated mirrors, vortex generators. Taking a look at the top, you'll see your roof rack and your color, well, the color you're taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls. Along with your window wiper deicer, you have your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, back mode, select, volume control, Bluetooth, voice recognition, display, and cruise control. Now I'm just going to close it on the exact kilometers just so you can see what it's currently sitting at. Now you also have a exterior temperature gauge as well as a digital compass. Scrolling through you also have a couple of different options on here which include your uh, current fuel economy as well as your cruising range and a couple of other additional features. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display you're going to see your digital clock, you have your hazard lights heading into the apps menu, you do have navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Located just down below, you do have your temperature control settings with your fan speed, mode select with your temperature control. And then underneath that, you'll see your USB and auxiliary with your power outlet, 4x4 selector, mounted to a 5-speed automatic transmission. You also have your open and close for your power rear window, heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, auto dimming rear view mirror, and a couple of controls you'll see at the top here include your integrated garage door opener, open and close, and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your traction control on off, a track downhill assist control, and then you'll also have your sunglass case holder for those days when it's quite bright outside, but if you do forget your sunglasses at home, you do have the visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch at least located just underneath your forerunner emblem. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Over on your right hand side, you're going to see your two power outlets, so the nice thing with that is if you want to plug in uh, your tools while you're, you're out at the cabin or the lake during the weekend, you could do so. Or if you'd like, you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now if you do need the additional space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat. And then with your third row seats, it's a 50-50 split in the back here. So all you have to do to fold them up is just pull on this middle piece here. Pull it straight up. Headrests are just located right behind here. And then if you do need some additional cargo space, it's available to you. Now to fold it back down, all you have to do is just pull on this piece here. Fold this to the headrest down. And then the piece on the far side here will fold the seat back into the floor for you. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2014 Toyota 4Runner SR5 upgrade, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.